Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Everspace. I resisted the urge to make it hideous. I think it looks okay. Uh, hey look, it is not possible to equip a shield device. The front shield generator and a powerful turret provide remedy. Oh, I have, I have credits enough to do an upgrade. Well, what am I thinking? Uh, yeah, let's definitely put some hull on this thing. Is there a front shield? Is that a real thing? Did I miss that somehow? Oh, oh man, a weapon I have to aim with. I forgot how horrible this is. Who likes aiming? Yeah, this is a really good start. Out of it. One way or another. The auto turret is uh, is very helpful though. I remember remember really appreciating that. Oh my god, it never ends with these guys. Jesus. Okay, so we're at half health already. Good start. Crimeny. Okay. Uh, I do not seem to have a front shield. I certainly was not not taking damage from the front. Seems to be a fantasy. So the key is going to be getting to the aliens, or getting to uh, ancient space with a functional ship. We have pretty good damage output. Sometimes, and I think this ship should be much more capable of actually killing one of those alien things if we can just get there with uh, enough hull to survive the combat, which it's looking like basically uh, pretty unlikely. What's that? Are we getting a friendly jump in? Your ship looks like it could use some repairs. Oh, hey. Yeah, have some nanobots. Just what I needed, thanks. But when will you tell me who you are? Okay, that's very helpful. I'm getting kind of a Star Fox 64 cat vibe off of her. You know, that's that's cool. Alright, turn it on. If they're going to fly right toward me, I can certainly bring them down real quick. Yeah, anything that gets close dies, like, immediately. That is exactly what we need. Alright. Not a great start. Not a great start at all. Let's go check out whatever this is. Okay, I guess it's just a turret. <laughs> Wasn't guarding anything, just a random turret in the middle of nowhere. Alright, well I guess let's get rid of this too. It's weird for a drone to just be out in the middle of nowhere by itself. Could be something is up. Hmm, guess not. I was prepared for that to be like uh, some kind of trap. Alright, let's see. Are there containers or anything? I have to say, I do not love the... Um, I do not love the cockpit on this thing being so... closed. I actually have a lot less visibility. I have to rely a lot more on my sensors to find things that are actually very close to me. Okay, nanobots, get a droid. Explosions, also overjoyed. 
Ow. What did I even hit? Hmm. I cannot fit... Man, the other ship would fit in here. Okay, here we go. Maybe, like, so careful. Uh, I think we'll just take this apart. I like my fusion blaster. Took me a second to remember that, but I like it. I don't particularly love the mine cluster, though. Okay. Really have taken a lot of damage here in the first note of this game. My carelessness just does not mesh very well with this uh, with this ship. Now, unfortunately, we did not get enough resources to build a lot of armor. I was really hoping to construct some adaptive armor. Uh, I guess let's go to... Man, if I go to my wreck, I can't go to the trader. I had a lot of stuff when I died. But is this this wreck? Is this the wreck from last time? It might not even be. Let's, let's try to get to the trader. I think the trader is more important. Okay, it is a device, right? So I need a little gas and a little plasma. We already have enough scrap and ore to, uh, to build quite a bit. All right. So it's all common materials, though. It's pretty easy to build. Just a matter of finding stuff. It would be kind of cool if you could set up a tracker on your UI for that. Like, show me what show me what all the materials are and what I currently have of those things. And that way, as soon as you are done with it, you would know. Because as it is... Um, yeah, they're both fighters. Uh, as it is, you can... You get a message when you get materials necessary to build something, but it doesn't tell you what it is. It's just like one new item available to build. Well, at least energy isn't a problem for this ship. Which is good because I think the, um, I think the adaptive shield requires energy anyway. Eats into your maximum energy supply. Wait, it kind of looks like there's just nothing in this sector, doesn't it? Or, uh, in this node, rather. Now, keep in mind, we have not actually bought the third ship yet. So I'm still, I'm still kind of curious about that. I keep coming back with a lot of money and then deciding right, I want to buy, like, right. really... Get some... Yes, thank you. That was definitely worth interrupting me for. Uh, I keep deciding that I want to buy really good upgrades instead. But I should probably try to get back to ten thousand and buy the last ship. Waste not one dot. Yeah, I like that. Sure, who wouldn't love random space gels? Okay, where are we at on this thing that I want? Gas and plasma. Gas and plasma. So, no fuel tanks, unfortunately, it looks like. I feel like I'm sitting too close to the... I wish I could recline the chair in my spaceship a little bit. I'm sitting too close to the windshield here. Yeah, man, there really doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff out here. Okay, that's pretty large. There could be some stuff in one of those asteroids. Well, there's something happened here. Unfortunately, I don't see anything intact. Oh, except for some containers. Looting containers makes me no better than an outlaw. I'm not your therapist. What's wrong with looting containers? They're space boxes. Nobody owns space boxes. You can't own space. Or boxes. 
That's what rationalization sounds like. If they were just sitting out here, just lost, and nobody ever came to pick them up, they would be valuable to nobody. By taking them and using their components, we are actually, we're, we're increasing the amount of good for all humans, for, you know, for the group of all humans, not for each human. So really, I'm, really it's a heroic action to go get these space containers, pilot guy. So why don't you just take it down a notch? Ooh. Fancy. Oh wait, trouble. We'll look at planets later. Oof. Must be a crazy person getting that close to me. Ah, uh, I bet I can't repair those. Yeah, I need plasma and some nanobots. Okay. Well, that's no good. I The combination of no inertia dampeners and no shield is going to mean that I am going to end up getting killed by a rock somewhere. So not only am I going to die, but I'm going to be embarrassed when it happens. Ooh, nanobots. Okay. So now it's just a matter of locating a plasma field. These are not terribly rare. Might be able to get out of this yet. And I mean, some weapons and stuff uh, salvage into plasma. So we might get lucky on that front. All right, reverse thrust, reverse thrust, reverse harder. Okay, there we go. Man, it even affects how the ship turns. It's like uh, it's like going from power steering to non-power steering. Ah, okay, managed to dodge the giant rock. Ooh, mineable crystal sounds like. Sounds fairly dangerous, but I have to actually go inside of an asteroid. If it's not near the mouth of, uh, you know, one of the entrances, maybe we won't go for it. <laughs> oh, it looks like it is, though. Okay, crystals means upgrades for our weapons, fortunately. Fire rate, critical hit chance... So we always have critical hit chance. Uh, you know what? This uses components that are not used by a ton of other things. Yeah, okay. It's not a big upgrade, but... Alright. Let's not go searching around inside there. How did I... How did I spend all this time over here and not realize I was already close to the trader? Yeah, wow. I don't even roll the same way without the inertia dampener. I suppose, of all the parts on the ship to get damaged, this is maybe the, the least bad one, but... Oh my god. Who would have thought space would be so floaty? Please let me trade. Okay. Access key for power cells. Uh, yes. I, he really wants power cells very badly. All 
I don't want to trade too many away, because those are an important uh, repair component. Well, I think we need to probably get out of this rock-heavy area. Rock-heavy plasma light area. Let's try to find a plasma field. Get our ship back in working condition. Nope, no plasma. Well, we could still find some plasma in a container or something. Fuel. Well, it feels not bad. Fortunately, we have this tractor beam. Ooh, there's an actual service station over there. They might be able to help us. We'll just save some lives real quick. And then get to claiming our reward. <laughs> it's so much harder to aim because the ship doesn't um, the ship doesn't turn with my crosshair in exactly the same way that I'm used to. Yeah, it's actually really, really hard to get oriented. Okay. Ooh. Fortunately, they did most of the work. Alright, where's the where's the interactable bit of this ship at? Oh man, I'm gonna have to pull into the bay. Alright. I can do this. Oh, it does have yeah, it has a proper repair. Uh, actually I'm not sure it, I pressed the wrong. Huh. There we go. The uh the button for go down, I have set to, uh, you know, what Crouch is in most games, which unfortunately puts it right next to the button that uses the thing in this slot. Okay, that was absolutely a good use of our money. Oh, I'm not actually in this yet. Resource shop, here we go. Uh, 400 money for some plasma. Or 500 money. Honestly, I don't love any of this stuff. And this is just refuel. Okay. That service station is a lifesaver. Which is why we're not going to rob it? Question mark? Yeah. Yeah, let's not. There's an awful lot of GMB dudes in the area. We just saw what they did to all those other fighters. And any combat is dangerous without shields. I mean, I'm not going to avoid combat just because we don't have shields, but maybe... I mean, I suppose not instigating is a form of avoiding. That's what I think of you. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah, and then we'll handle the drone the old-fashioned way. Okay, apparently we've uh, started another fight already. Space life. It's actually a lot like real life. Always causing problems. I am always causing problems <laughs> in both space life and real life. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, all right. 
I suppose we're good here. Man. There are a lot of uh, a lot of scenes in this game that are just extremely pretty. Cuz it would be unwise to attack the GNB ships, right? Yes, right. Must must convince myself not to attack cuz otherwise I absolutely will. Is that whatever. Let's just get out of here. Given the number of GMB fighters that are flying around it, it is probably a functional GMB base. It is not something that I can scavenge from. Mostly, I'm just trying to make it to... Yes, thank you. Uh, mostly, I'm just trying to make it to an ancient site with this ship in good condition. Ooh, drone override blueprint. I don't think the drone override is a particularly good piece of equipment, but more blueprints is always nice. If I didn't know better, I'd say the scout was trying to stay on the opposite side of this big rock. Oh, apparently he's not. He just blends in with the rock really well. I think he also bumped into part of it, because his shields all of a sudden disappeared. Okay. Well, speaking of big rocks, now that we have a functional inertia dampener, let's go have a look. The, uh, the fusion blaster shoots projectiles that give off light that's sort of the same color as the shielding effect. Ooh, plasma. I'll come back to this big rock. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the fusion blaster projectiles are sort of the same color as the shielding effect, so when I'm firing at stuff, it kind of makes me feel like I have a shield. So that's valuable, you know? Confidence. Confidence matters. Alright, let's figure out what's in here. That can't hit me. One man's waste is another man's treasure. You know, uh, the expression usually is given as one man's trash is another man's treasure. And I think the reason that we usually say it that way is because if you say one man's waste, it kind of sounds like you're talking about poop. How many nanobots would it take to repair me fully? Yeah, okay, do it. I'm a little torn between trying to preserve some nanobots for repairs to systems and the danger of, you know, the increased danger of not being at full health. What am I? I have full fuel. What am I doing? I see, you know what it is? I saw the word mineable and I just stopped reading. It's like, hey, that's one word I like. That's good enough for me to go over there. Oh, hey, free adaptive armor. I didn't even have to build it. That reminds me. Uh, we probably don't need this tractor beam, frankly, although it has been good to us so far. <laughs> Well, actually, I still haven't found any more gas, so never mind. I don't want to get too close to this uh, this wreck because there's mines everywhere, and it's not like with the shielded ship, where a mine is. Uh, as long as I don't go crazy, a mine is a small mistake that really doesn't cost anything. 
Uh, yeah, see, so like, even even a thing that is basically what I would consider to be a completely free combat with that other ship, we took at least one nanobot worth of damage with this one. It is a real bummer. I guess I should be flying around with a combat drone out there, shouldn't I? Damn, no, uh, no ancients. Well, let's keep traveling along the slightly less risky path. But yeah, I should probably be flying a, uh, a combat drone at all times. Okay, there could be stuff over here. That's definitely a star base of some kind. And I see shields, but we do actually have an access card this time. Definitely taking, da taking fire from the, uh, Definitely taking fire from the drone first, but it is far less dangerous than an actual fighter. Alright, first of all, let's see if there's a way in without using our access card up. Turns out there is. Well, I'm glad I checked. What is that? What am I looking at here? Okay, I was damaging it. There was just no, uh, there was no indication that I was damaging it, but I was getting stuff done. Uh, it's on the other side of the wall. Okay, I maybe didn't need to turn my Gatling turret on for that. Well, it looks like there may still be a compartment. Yeah, I'm going to have to use my access key to get in here, I think. So I, do I just, like, come up to... How do I... There we go. I just had to get really close. Whoa. Whoa. What are you? Oh, a subroutine. Nice. Teleporter Mark Three teleports your ship forward. This is an active device that I cannot... Ah, it's a scout restricted uh, active device. So just have to salvage it for scrap and plasma. Ooh, this is one of those mega bombs that uh, that we used to kill one of the alien things. Definitely taking that, and an enhanced forty millimeter Gatling gun. You know what? I will uh, I will swap my flight cannon for that. So this is nothing. This is just floating cosmetic debris. It looks like. Okay. Well, what we've learned today is that it is always worth it to use an access card to get to these uh, special crates, because that special crate was bananas. And hey, I managed to maneuver in and out without taking any damage. Okay, we gotta stay far away from lightning fields. That said, I'm gonna go over there and destroy that shield generator. Uh, just, first of all, to get it off of my HUD, but also because I'm not 100% sure that you never get stuff out of it. You know, doesn't it seem feasible that that a thing could maybe drop? Oh, we had incoming. All right. Is he really still alive? Come on, yes! <laughs> My combat drone's actually gonna beat that guy by itself. Ugh. 
Oh my gosh. I think he bumped into the drone. Okay. Uh, where's all the loot? Did I pick it all up? Can I see, like, my inventory? What I'm currently carrying? Because I want to know if I grabbed that access card or not. I think I did. Well, we can fix this by just getting further away from the site of the combat. Yeah, I don't know why, but my Gatling turret was not shooting at the elite guy at all, it seemed like. Yeah, I must have grabbed everything. I did not. I was not looking for text confirmations while I was still fighting. So I missed whether or not it did that. Honestly, that wasn't too bad as far as, uh, as, far as damage goes, given that I fought an elite. Having a remarkably hard time hitting these mines. There we go. It would be cool if the uh, combat drone could kick in a little bit here. Okay, screw this. There was some compound and some missiles in that uh, in that minefield, but I do not care enough to to go after it with the Alcar following us. All right. Well, now I feel very confident that if we could find one of those alien things, we could get another glyph. I have detected a wanted Ooh. criminal nearby. Exterminating Ooh. him will earn you a reward. The coordinates have been added to the map. Okay, I'll bounty hunt. I'll hunt bounty. Um, so when he says the coordinates have been added to the map, because this is my drone, right? Yeah, so it doesn't look like I have a HUD indicator. Does he mean the star map? Like he's in a different node? Okay, I don't know why, but I really like it when the rings are sort of horizontal. Yeah, I like the combat drones a lot, actually. Stop juking! What's wrong with you? Yeah, the combat drones um, engaging enemies before us and then keeping their, their attention off of us is really, really nice. It says I can only have one drone out, out at a time. I wonder how you... Um, how do you raise that number? It's probably based on the the ship's body, but I bet there's some there's a component you can install or something that will allow you to have more. Hmm. Kind of looks like there aren't any containers in this wreckage. Although I don't know that my sensors would pick them up from this distance. But I think I've cleared it out enough that I can get closer on this side. Yeah, there's one. It seems like this ship body has a fairly significant tractor beam, even without that tractor beam thing that we had installed. I guess that makes sense, since it's a lot less, uh, it's a lot more dangerous to get close to stuff to try to pick it up. Let's check that out. That really comes out of nowhere. Did you know light is pretty fast? Okay. Let's, like, real quick try to figure out if there are any uh, turrets around. 
while my while my Gatling turret is active. Just fly through the middle here. Oh, no pings. Aw. Ow. Stupid rocks. Well. I don't know. It looks pretty okay, I guess. Looks like we are clear. It's weird that sometimes there are Outlaw and Okar around closed tech crates. You would think that they would just pop those open. Also, we've taken quite a bit of damage since the last time we found more nanobots, so it would be cool if we could maybe get... I don't know, 150 nanobots, maybe? I don't know if that's asking for too much, but... Maybe the last kind of ship is a drone ship. That would be cool. But you, you don't have great weapons, but you have a reasonable way of producing drones, and you're trying to, uh... trying to live off of a largely drone-based offense. be an interesting uh, an interesting and different style at the very least so yeah I don't see this uh, I don't see this bounty hunting target here anyway it must be it must be on the star now let's go find out yep he is in fact right there well that's a very convenient place for him to be fire from elsewhere. Keep it up. Yeah, this like the huge bevy of weapons that you get to bring to bear with the the auto turret and the drone and everything. It feels really cool to fight stuff with the gunship. Trying desperately not to crash into the <laughs> the wreckage here. Hey, look at that. Ow. Ow. I was about to say I maneuvered around that very smoothly, but ow. Yeah, this thing is way, way bigger than the fighters, and you really feel that when you're trying to maneuver while close to stuff. Alright, so we can move out toward that, uh... toward that guy. See if we can just get the combat drone to engage with them and then fling heavy missiles. Huh. I don't know how I'm gonna get in there. I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Because if I could have just popped it from out here... Alright, that's what I was hoping for right there. Uh, I don't really think we have the option of not spending nanobots anymore. I took too much damage from that rock. Alright, let's go have some words with Alpha Zulu, who seems to be tangoing with uh, G and B right now. I'd hate to miss my opportunity. I may have missed my opportunity? It looks like they just killed him. Oh, there's not even anything left behind. Man. Bummer. I really didn't want to go over there with uh, with my health being so low. Oh no. Huh. I thought you were dead. A payment Got has it. been deposited with you by way of reward for your assistance. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want this garbage Gatling gun. Or these garbage plasma torpedoes. Okay, now we picked up a jump stabilizer. 
Counteracts jump suppressors. Oh. That's fine, I guess. Probably that's going to end up being deconstructed, because I don't really think that that's very useful. Oh, man. Yeah, didn't manage to get the missile in time. Oh, I have the wrong... I have the wrong weapon equipped, that's part of the problem. I was hearing that Gatling gun sound and I was thinking, oh, my turret's... My turret's doing work. And then I realized my turret is not activated currently. Ugh, and I just used all my nanobots. Okay, we have the parts we need. We just gotta find some man nanobots. Uh, this is a really bad... This is a really bad component to lose, actually. <laughs> hey, nanobots. But I think it's just one. Yeah. And it was two that I needed, right? Yeah, of course it was. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to fight to, uh... We have to fight to get them, probably, which is a sh Ooh, ah, time extender. I love these. So we will replace the. Oh, I still have the tractor being locked. I thought I had gotten rid of it. Okay, I will definitely replace the tractor beam. I have no problem doing that. <sighs> Nanobots. Okay. Problem solved relatively quickly. Let's just be really careful as we pull out of here. Yeah, having non-functional sensors, uh, it's annoying for looting, but it's actually like incredibly dangerous in combat because you can't get a lock anymore. I guess it's a little bit less dangerous for this ship than it is for some others because at the very least we can, you know, combat drones. Okay. Damn it. I really wish that there was a way, an easy way to look like to my left and right. Without turning the whole ship. Okay. More nanobots. That's very friendly. Thank you. Okay. How's my fuel? Eh, we're close to full. This will fill us up. And then we will leave. Oh, I forgot this was a jump gate sector. Okay, this might be not great. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> There's a few okay. of them. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. All right. So here's hoping for some ancients in the next sector because I think we are. I think we are ready for battle with an ancient. The probability of heavy encounters is higher in this area. Bring it on. No, I don't feel that way. Don't bring it on. He does not speak for me. Uh, fire rate mod, shield damage mod. Yeah, I like some of that. Could I build another adaptive armor? I still couldn't. Still haven't found any gas. It's weird. It's really easy to find gas a lot of the time. Ah, uh, it's very clever. He flew so that he was backlit by the sun. Ooh, he has a cool frontal shield. Am I supposed to have one of those? Because I really don't think I do. I'm gonna feel real dumb if it turns out I have had one this whole time. Come on, recharge, recharge, recharge. Screw this. 
Okay, I saw a blueprint drop. Oh, are you serious? Come on. I really want one of those cool front shields. <gasps> I forgot about my time extender. We totally have one of those. And now we've got the blueprint for it. Ah, uh, wait. R? Here we go. Ah, oh, the frontal shield seems to even protect him from the, uh, the heavy missile there. Maybe he shot it down. Hit him in the back with it. How does he like that? Alright, are we about to be attacked by anybody else? It's getting far enough away that I'm not getting leading information anymore. Okay. No escapes. Well, on the plus side, we've actually managed to end up pretty close to the, uh, the jump suppressor. And I guess also, I don't have to care about the jump suppressor if I don't want to. Alright, the shield charge drone is probably okay. I haven't actually used it, I don't this think. This place looks amazing. Seriously, there are more important things to be concerned about presently. Yeah, game developer. Telling me about how amazing your game looks. Ugh. Not now. Am I even shooting at a turret? That might be like a... Honestly, that's probably the jump suppressor, huh? It's turning. I thought it was a turret. Okay. I actually managed to take very little damage while fighting those guys. Which I attribute to my incredible skills at weaving back and forth erratically. Okay. Let's go check out this comm hub, huh? Although I guess it is surrounded by hostiles. And I am, like, in a little bit of danger. And I don't have any nanobots. Yeah, still though. Oh, he sees us. Awesome. Yeah, when I engage all of my tools at the same time, I'm actually incredibly dangerous. Come on. It keeps turning. You said you were allowed to turn this much. You are a poor sport. Target Got him. destroyed. Alright, I think this is the last one. I do not have a lot of energy. I think. I think he's probably not going to deal any damage to me, though, because he seems to be very focused on this drone. Oh, come on. Alright, well, I guess we got to get these credits and get out of here. I really wanted to pick up some more loot. I'm sure that that comm hub was part of a little base that we could have invaded. Ugh. Well, now we have two access keys. Nothing to spend them on, but two access keys. Uh, there's a service station over here, which I think is better for us than a trader, and unfortunately, no ancients. But we have gotten to 10,000, so at the very least we'll be able to unlock the last ship. Ugh. More elites. Although there's a G&B elite here as well, so maybe they'll, maybe they'll help clean this up for me. First things first, though. Yeah, I'm assuming that our reputation with GNB is why the traders are all so much better now. 
Ooh, money for dark matter. I'll do that. Actually, I'll do this too. Yep, all the repairs. And I'm not going to pay money for fuel. I don't think. I suspect that we will be just fine on the fuel front. I did drop below 10,000 there. So we have to not die until we can find another 8,000. Okay, two elites from different factions. I say we let them duel it out and we just kill whoever survives. How are they doing? Looks like the outlaw's kind of getting his ass handed to him. Hey, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's commit. Oh, I can't see. I'm very blind. Stay behind him. Alright. Hey, a new ship color, and now I'm on four access keys. Unfortunately, um, I have a hard time imagining that the fourth access key is going to be valuable. Doesn't seem all that likely that I'm going to run into that many things that can use them. Okay. Ended up being a lot more Okar here than I realized. I may have made some, you know, tactical errors. Okay. Good stuff. Ow. My combat drone uh, just rubbed its ass on my head. Thanks. Thanks for that. Honestly, though, I'm getting to the point now where I, like, I have a better grasp of my capabilities and stuff, and honestly, it makes the, uh, it makes the gunship feel way better. Like, I, I actually do feel really dangerous. But we got a lot of firepower here. Okay. So there's some kind of base here. It looks like we can probably use one of our access cards. realized that was a turret like the moment that it uh the moment before it lit up on our screen as an enemy yes yeah, so we're gonna have to find a door probably well at first we're gonna have to deal with oh no i thought i saw stuff jumping in but it's just the turrets that's weird the music is having some trouble accurately reflecting what's going on in the game Okay, so the ones that don't have red on them just won't open, is that right? Yeah, alright. We have to find one where the lights are on, and then we can submit our access key. Huh. Looks like this... Yeah, this little entrance doesn't actually have a... Huh. Okay, cool. Did not turn off that shield. Maybe you have to destroy all of the... Uh, all of the shields, shield generators that are near a shield. I don't see any entrance. <clears throat> it looks like I can get in from that side. Oh, no, wait. That's the door that leads to the special tech container. Well, shit, how am I supposed to get in there? Hmm. This is a puzzle. And unfortunately, we don't have an infinite amount of time to puzzle through it. Okay, this just gets me into that same chamber I was in a second ago. It doesn't look like there's any entrances around this side. <coughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, shoot. I don't know how to get in here properly. I think what's happening is the, uh, the game is seeing the turrets near us as an immediate threat because they are near us and enemies and are aware of us. But it's making the music way too intense for what is really a very calm, almost reflective moment. We don't have any weapons that just straight pierce shields. Yeah. Nor do I know if such things even exist. Okay, if we get some more crystal, we can actually make my Gatling turn better. Yeah, huh. I, there must be something I'm just not seeing. I didn't see an entrance into that corridor. Let's go around. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend all of our time here working on this. If the Okar show up, we'll jump out. But until then, this is my uh, this is my concern. Yeah, it looks like all of the doors are broken. It looks like we don't actually have a way in. None of the yeah, none of the things will accept our access card. That's a shame. We have all these access cards, and I really really want more special tech stuff. Special tech containers seem bananas. Oh, you know what I should do is I should build some, um... should build some missiles. I'm sure I have the material. Yeah. Okay, ore plasma scrap. Easy enough. Okay, that's something. That looks like it could be useful. Alright, well, they're coming for us. Let's go and say hi. Okay, excellent. Every once, every so often, you know, you get a uh, you get a fight where you get more nanobots than uh, than it will take to heal the damage. Ooh. Okay, well, let's check this out first. We'll go to the freighter wreck. But this is another place where I might be able to turn my access card into something valuable. Well, none of these doors work. Hostiles are targeting us. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hey. Okay, it's this designer ship. I can I can definitely get in here. Sounds like my uh, my turret killed a second turret that I was not looking at. So that's nice. Okay, so every time I get into one of these, it's going to give me a subroutine, I guess. Or, I mean, probably not every time. But you know what I mean? Frequently. So I don't think... well, you know, I don't have a lot of respect for this jump stabilizer. <laughs> Another Arc 9000, man. I really want to use heavy missiles in actual combat, so I think I'm going to salvage this one. Wow, dark energy. Okay. What is this? Is this credits? It is not. It is nothing. It looks like it should be significant, doesn't it? Like, it's the detail on it is... A little high for it to just be space junk, but I guess it's all it is. Okay, here's that turret that my uh, my turret destroyed for me. Yeah, that was fantastic. These things are great. Access cards are incredibly valuable. <laughs> Alright, let's go check this out now.
And how many... It's... Okay, I'll have five left. So that's enough to repair components. I'll tell you what, that service station uh, probably saved the run. Sensor drone. Ah, eh, you know what. I brushed the container. Just, you know, just a little bit, gently. Oh, yeah, the shield generator that I didn't destroy, that's fine. I kind of wish you could turn things off of your uh, off of your HUD once the ship has picked them up. It seems like as soon as you've seen it, it's there forever until you blow it up. Fuel transport. Even if I wanted to mess with G and B, I don't know that that would be worth doing it over. All right, I think we can move on. Really, all I'm interested in is trying to find uh, an alien site, an ancient site. Although, actually, you know what? We're about to be able to jump out of here to Sector 4, and that'll be the first time we've done that with this ship, and that'll unlock the second loadout, I believe. So, actually, there's something significant at stake here, even without being able to find any of the, uh, any of the ancient stuff. Oh, I hate this. Okay, we have to go around... Well, GMB mining base, it looks like. Big one, too. I am not dipping into the lightning storm. It looks like I can get to this wrecked up base. And it seems like even when these are clearly old GMB bases, they don't seem to mind when I, uh, when I loot them. But frankly, I'm not going to take any chances uh, in this or the next node. Let's see if we can get some gas and fuel for free here. Yeah, you would think the GMB dudes would be like, hey, that's still our property. I have, to, I have to actually think about it every time I'm trying to lower the ship now. Alright, let's get to the other side of this big rock before that stuff jumps in. I want them to have to deal with GMB before they get to me. Looks like our combat drone has no interest in avoiding combat. So with the number of enemies here, I don't feel bad about employing a couple of heavy missiles right off the bat. Oh, he shot it down. I need to put an end to this. Oh wow, we are getting. Damn it! My sensors. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That actually wasn't that bad. It felt like I was getting hit a lot, but in, in reality, I have not taken very much damage. Ooh, gas mines. Okay. So, the question now is, do I actually want to you build another adaptive armor when I could just hold on to my time extender? And I think the answer to that question is no. I really like the time extender and the Gatling turret. There's a nice big gas mining operation here. We can maybe skim some gas off of them, but we don't really need to. And it doesn't sound very, uh, very entertaining. So I probably will just not bother. Maybe I should just jump out. Well, have I been to this yet? It doesn't look like it. And it looks like I can get over here without having to go anywhere near the lightning storm. This looks like it might once have been a functional jump gate. Trapped. I 
extensively. Jeez, that's a lot of mines. Man, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Let my energy regenerate a little bit here. There we go. Okay, well I can definitely get close enough to get this processor. Where am I getting? I just got pinged from somewhere, I didn't even see where. I see. Had the wrong, uh, wrong device applied there. Just trying to just turn on my turret. Okay. Yeah, the Gatling turret is the best thing. The best thing in the whole game. The best thing in the universe. Ooh, what's this now? A secure container. Where are all these drones coming from, man? Okay, well this has been spectacular. Really, really good loot. Oh, no, that's what I already hit. Wow, another Arc 9000. That's crazy. Well, unfortunately, just like the last one, this one's just getting salvaged. Okay. Maybe heavier weapons are more common when you're playing a gunship. That doesn't seem impossible. See how much we can get in the way of free gas and fuel, because we are not full. Ooh! That was lovely. I'm trying to shoot the thing behind you. There we go. I had to be a little bit careful, because I did not clear out the mines very thoroughly on this side. Let's go up and get into the secure container, because I'm probably running pretty close to the time limit on this area. But honestly, things are so good here. I might, I, if there weren't Okar chasing me, I might never leave. Ooh, a damage booster mark three. Yeah, I'll definitely take that over my energy injector. Okay, so that's a little bit less exciting than the things that we have been trading our access cards for recently, but I will definitely not turn my nose up at it. You know what, let's just get out of here. I'm not going to try to maneuver all around this thing for two, two little bits of gas. So all we have to do is not get killed at the next node. If we just make it to the gate, which I will, uh, which I will do as soon as things look ugly, we will unlock another loadout. I don't know what uh, it could be that would make me happier than the loadout we have now. Oh man, that's one of those alien things, isn't it? One of those like gray goo clouds. Uh, you know what? And there's no sensors in this. You know, screw this. We're just leaving. We're just leaving. The exit's right there. I'm just going. There's probably all kinds of great loot here. But, uh, we are too close to something valuable and too likely to take really serious damage. Whew. Okay. Let's wrap up this node and then we will uh, call the video for the day. But hey, even if we die right here, we got something valuable done. Can I build combat drones? Do I have the... I can. Okay. Let's salvage this. Because we're we almost certainly going to need combat drones. 
It's just gas or scrap, although it's a quite a bit of gas. Okay. Limit has been reached. Yeah, geez, look at all that damage. Oh, it's fantastic. Ah, now, credits. Now this is interesting. A an enhanced beam laser plus plus. Very high hull DPS, range mod and shield damage mod. I think I'm gonna swap the Gatling for it. Alright, so we've got some elite bombers. Bombers? Huh. Let's go say out of this thing. Ooh. Okay. As soon as I engage, my uh, missiles are being shot down. That's just what I need. Okay, it looks like this uh this is pretty bad. Yeah, this is not a good time for you to be chattering with me. Alright, let's put put a heavy piece of metal between me and the bulk of them. Alright, everything's off cooldown again. Okay. Yeah, a big part of the problem there was that my turret and my time slower thing were both on cooldown. Um, which doesn't give me a lot of options as far as dealing with, like, a bunch of drones at the same time. Come on. I know they're close. I know they're close. Okay. So the bombers carry around a bunch of anti-missile drones. Ooh, and they have flat cannons. That's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff for them. Uh, and they need energy. Oh, we had, we ran out of missiles. I was like, why is he not dying? I took out the things. But yeah, that'll do it. Never mind. Well, you know, at the very least, we got our new loadout. We made a ton of money. We got subroutines. We got blueprints. That was actually a super good run. Wow, look at that. I didn't realize how many. Front shield generator. Okay, we totally did not have one of those. The description was a lie. So let's have a look at our new loadout. Wow, you start with an Arc 9000. Scattergun, Pulse Laser, Weber Drones. I don't know if I like Weber Drones. Um, the laser turret's cool. I wonder if this is actually a more powerful loadout. It feels to me like this one's better just because Fusion Blaster and Combat Drone is like... We'll give this a try, though. Sometime soon. Uh, for right now, first things first. Shock Rifle, Cloak, Shield, XC. You're a weird looking little thing. So what is your deal? Beam laser, shock rifle, this is the uh, the charge up thing, right? Stasis missiles. Deals no damage, but wraps the target in a stasis field. Okay, well, we'll give it a try. Drone overrides a cloak. Firing your weapons will, of course, disrupt it because this is a video game and that's how things work in video games. Uh, so let's see, yeah, what, what was I doing? I was advancing my standing with GB, and I was buying bonus equipment. Increases the quality of the bonus equipment. Well, we have enough to go all the way to that. And then we can finish this. Yeah, it does look like all it does is reduce the chance of GB reporting your attacks. That's not that exciting. So how does this actually work? Well, let's, let's finish spending. I'm gonna... I don't know. Let's not worry about it right now. 
Oh, I didn't have an enhancement equipped, it looks like. So I wouldn't have been able to see where the ancient structures were anyway. Well, damn. For every damage system, re receive a 20% damage bonus. Hostile homing missiles do not lock. But also, my homing missiles do not lock. Honestly, there are a lot of loadouts for which Beeline would be really, really good. And it would have saved our life there at the end. Okay, well, we found a lot of cool stuff. We had a good run. That's going to be it for this episode. Come back next time. I think, uh, even though it doesn't look that impressive, we're going to try out our new Colonial Scout. We'll see you then.